Welcome back everybody. Welcome to part two where we're going to be building a Pikachu Mega Constructs little mini piece. So we're just going to jump right on into it. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous video of where I build a Bulbazar, please check that out. Um, as I mentioned before, I got one of these at my local toy store. Uh, I don't remember how much I paid for them. I think they were only like five or six dollars. Not too bad. Um, there's tons of different ones. Here is Pikachu in all of his little pieces. We also ended up getting his uh, build booklet, which I will be having next to me. Um, it, it helps a lot because I'm not very good at building these otherwise. Uh, Alrighty, so let's jump on into it. Uh, gonna just move his little capsule, his Pokeball away. Alright, and it looks like we are starting with his cute little face, if I can find it. And this piece. So we're going to line up the two sides. There we go. And next we're going to give him his ears. Those are just going to stick right in. And let's see. Looks like these two are identical. So I don't think it will matter much which one we use. No, they look exactly the same. So we're just going to put one on the back, and there's Pikachu's little head. So we're going to set that to the side. Next we're going to build his body. So we're going to take his, what I'm presuming is going to be his tummy piece. We're going to take one of his feet, which is this. We're going to make sure the point is facing down. I'm just adjusting his little feet. We're going to put his body on, or the piece that's going to hold his arms and uh, head on. Oh, and one of his legs just popped off. Okay, now that that is done and his feet are facing the correct way, we're going to be putting on his little back, making sure that the uh, hole for his tail is down. Alright, and I really had to push that to make sure all the pieces would fit in. So now we're going to turn him around and we're going to put his little hands on. So his hands look identical. They don't seem to have any markings. So we're just, so it doesn't seem to matter which way they go on. Okay, and in the booklet it shows it like this. 
I'm going to put his little head on. Now flex his arms down. Then we're going to put his little tail in. So first is this little piece, this little peg that fits in. And then a ball and socket. And there we go. All right. And now Pikachu has his little tail. Isn't he so cute? Alrighty, thank you for joining me for this build. I hope you really enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.